welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're making a Roycroft pack frame, so stick around. My frame's already made, so what I thought I would do is reverse engineer it by taking it apart so you can see what I did. Now keep in mind, there's several ways to do this. For today's exercise, you're going to need three poles about an inch in diameter, a lighter, number 36 bank line, and a knife with a saw. What you want to do right now is you want to find two poles or uprights, approximately three quarters of an inch to one inch in diameter, and measuring from your armpit to fingertip in length. And you want to cut one more, approximately three quarters of an inch to one inch in diameter, and measuring from your fingertip to mid bicep in length. What I've done here is I've taken my knife and my two uprights and I went ahead and carved down the first three inches of what I consider to be the top of my frame. And the reason why I did that, it gives you a nice flat surface to lash to. What you want to do right now is called the layout. Go ahead and place your pieces where they need to be. and then you can make minor adjustments. Now if you notice, what I've done here is I've carved out a divot on both sides. This allows my upright to lay inside that divot so when I lash it down there's minimal movement. So to do that, all you gotta do is take your knife and score each side, remove it, and then carve out your divot. Our layout is now complete, so now we're ready to lash our frame. Since everything is in a diagonal position on all three sides, we're going to tie a diagonal lash at each end. To do that, what I want to do is take my bank line, and I want to cut three pieces, approximately six to seven feet in length, and I want to tie a timber hitch at each side. Now taking my bank line, I want to go underneath my frame. just like this. Now I want to go around just like that. Now I want to go back underneath and around a minimum of four times. Just like this. And then I want to pull it tight. Now keeping my timber hitch pulled tight, what I want to do is I want to tie my diagonal lash. To do that, I want to form an X pattern. I want to go around three times, cross over, and then go over three more times. So we've already gone around once with our timber hitch. So I'm going to go ahead and pull my bank line through. There's two. One more makes three. I'm going to tighten it down. I'm going to grab a stick for a toggle. I'm going to wrap it around a few times. I'm going to pull it tight. There we go. Now I've gone around three times here. I'm going to place it underneath. Now I'm going to crisscross it three more times. just like that. Go ahead and grab my toggle. I'm going to pull it tight. Now what I want to do is I want to take my line and I want to go between my X's. This will tighten the frame up and it's called a frap. I want to go around this three more times. I'm going to grab my toggle.
tighten it down. Now I want to finish this off on top here using a clove hitch. Just like that. Now the last thing you can do to go ahead and make it look nice and pretty is cut and burn the ends. It melts on there just like paracord. Welcome back, that was good to go. This is part one of a two-part series. In part two, we're gonna make a rope to carry our pack. This exercise and a whole lot more can be found in Bushcraft 101. Thanks for the comments, views, support, and thanks for watching. And I'll catch you next time.